Hello guys, welcome to Code Studio. In this session, we will try to learn how to create chart of accounts in an Oracle Cloud ERP application. So, what is chart of accounts? Chart of accounts is a list of accounts used to record transactions in a company's general ledger. Uh, during the accounting cycle, the chart of account is used to perform the general entries. And all these accounts are generally divided into five categories such as assets, liabilities, owner's equity, revenue and expenses. So each company will have its own uh, chart of account numbering system and can assign a number for and, uh, identification purpose. In Oracle, uh, you can add more dimensions called segments and create a combination of accounts. For example, company is a one segment, department is another segment, and the account is a third segment with different values. So these three segments can be combined and create an account combination like this to identify and classify the transaction on a ledger. Okay. In this table, 10-110-1001. This is the account combination. Means means the finance department of Yahoo Operations Company has liability okay we need to perform following steps to create a chart of accounts the first step is create a value set second is chart of account structure third one would be creating a structure instance fourth step would be deploying and the fifth step would be setting the values to the value set we will see all these steps on an application so so the first step is creating a value set so what is value set a value set is a collection of accounts values that are associated with the segment of chart of account so let us see how to create a value set. So here is the navigations to access chart of account value sets. Go to setup and maintenance. Go to implementation project. Select your project. Now search with manage chart of account value set. So same task is assigned to both the offerings. So I'll go with the, the financial one. So click on this. So here is the task manage chart of account value set values uh, value set. Okay. So select this row. Click on go to task. Click on plus icon to create a value set. In our chart of account structure, we will be defining a four segments. Okay. The first one would be company. The second one would be department. Third one is the account, and the fourth one would be the future segment. Okay, which can be used in a future. So let us create the first value set that is a company. Select module as a general ledger application. Validation type is independent so that we can give, assign the independent values. Data type is character. And select the value subtype as text and its length or size. And finally, you can save this value set. Save and close. From this screen, you can search your value set. Okay, so here is a first value set been created. That is a company. Uh, similarly, we can create a value set for sets for other segment. That is a department, accounts, and future. So let me create those quickly. So I have already created the uh, account and department value sets. Now uh, let me create a future value set. A value set for future segment. We're done. Now let us see. Now let us see the second step. Second step: chart of account structures. So basically, the chart of account model in Oracle GL is framed around the concept of chart of account structure. Chart of account structure basically defines the key attributes of chart of accounts. These attributes includes like you know number of segments, how many numbers number of segments are required for a chart of account, the number sequence, and the segment name, its prompt, segment label etc so once we create a chart of account structure and its instances then we'll get to know more about this so let us see how to create a chart of account structure to create a uh, chart of account structure just select this row manage chart of account structure click on go to task now search the key flex field with a module called general ledger 
on accounting flux field we need to create a chart of account structure so on accounting key flux fields we need to create a chart of account structure so select this row click on manage structures and click on plus icon to create a chart of account structure enter the required fields delimiter so usually we take either iphone or dash most of the time for account combination click on save now we need to add the number of segments required for our chart of account structure okay so click on plus i in generally we take first segment as a company segment so let's the name to this segment as a company and the sequence would be one and uh, select the column name as segment one and the values of what we have created also for a company segment we need to assign at the segment label okay called primary balancing segment so what is segment label so basically segment label identify the segments in your chart of account and assign uh, specific functionalities to those segments okay these are nothing but you know the flex field qualifiers used in ebs so after entering all the required fields so let us save this now add the second segment called department segment And the segment will be two. Select the value set and select the cost center segment as a segment label for this department segment. Click on save and close. So here is the third segment. Okay, that is account. And we have added the segment level as natural account segment. Okay, and the value set will be CS accounts. Okay. Now let us add the fourth segment called future. For this, we do not need any segment level, so let's leave this and save and close. That's it. So we have created the uh, structure for our chart of accounts. Third step is create chart of account structure instance. So basically, the chart of account instances are actually exposed in a user interface and processes. Okay, so all the chart of account instances basically inherits the same attributes as their corresponding chart of account structure. It means basically the instances will share a common shape and have the same segments in the and same order what we define in the structure. However, there is a difference between structure and instance. That is, we can override the default value sets assignment at the instance level. Of your chart of accounts and also you can choose to generate a new new account combination dynamically or manually at the chart of account instance level so let us see how to create a chart of account structure instance now to create a chart of account structure instance select this row okay this task manage chart of account structure instance and click on the go to task select the module as a gl search you will get the accounting key flex field Select this now. Click on Manage Structure Instances. Basically, the instances will be created on the structures. Okay, the chart of account structures. So, we had created the chart of account structure. So, let us first search what is our chart of account structure. Oh, sorry, not the structure. This is to search the instances. So, to create instance, just click on plus icon. Now, enter the all the required fields. So, key flex field structure instance let me add f here now now select your structure name that is a cskfs once you select all the segments available in this structure will be appeared here so here is the first difference that is you know the dynamic combination creation this option is available at the instance level it is not available at the structure level the second difference is we we can set the default values for these segments so for example to company 
you can set this as a required you can also set the default values these features are available at the instance level you cannot set all these values at the structure level okay so that is the difference between structure and instance now click on save and close to create the instance so now you can see the instance got created now now fourth step is to deploy the chart of account structure and its instances basically the deployment process generates or refreshes the adf business objects that actually renders in a flex field used in a user interface make sure to you know you must deploy the latest definition of flex fields once you have configured or changed it so let us see how to deploy these flex fields okay now to deploy a, a key flex field okay after configuring the instance just select this structure instance task go to task search your key flex fields with a module called gl select the key flex fields and click on deploy flex fields okay so deployment is completed now click on okay you can see status been changed to right now the fifth step is create assigning a values to the value set once the basic you know the characteristics are defined for the value sets after that values the account values can be added to set okay using a manage value page so let us see how to assign the values to the value set now to add a values to the value set okay select this task called manage chart of account value set values click on go to task we had created a four value sets right so we need to assign the values to those four value sets so let us see how to add the values to the value sets now search with your value set names okay these are the four value sets so our first value set is company so let us add the values to this company select this value set row click on manage values click on plus icon in our example we have a two values for our company first one is yahoo operations and second one is yahoo services so for first one yahoo operation we'll give value as 10 you can leave remaining field as default click on save and close our seven second second value set is department select this oh sorry click on manage values add the values okay i have created i uh, have added three four values to company department segment value set save and close before adding values to the uh, account value set let me add values to the future value set for future we only use 00 because this segment will be used in future if we wanted to add add an additional segment to the our chart of account okay now let's add the values to the account segment basically these values will be given by the client for all the account types like you know assets expenses liability revenue and owner equity okay so you need to add all those account values to here let me quickly add few uh, accounts here while adding a account values to the account value set because we had added the natural account segment as a segment label this validation point called account type been added okay which will validate like each entry must have assigned to a specific account type so let us see if i do not select this and if i click on uh, save what will happen basically it is expecting account type so let me select this as a asset now it is allowed okay so let me add the remaining accounts as well so these are the few sample values and with the different account type okay so let me save and close so likewise we can assign the values to the value sets So that's all guys for today's session I hope you understood how to create a chart of account in Oracle Cloud ERP If you like this video please share like and subscribe my channel thank you